Welcome to Let's Roger That, I'm Jill. Today in this episode, I'm gonna show you a new piece of gear that I got. It's a height gauge for the milling machine. I think you're gonna find it rather interesting. Let's go. Okay, so this little height gauge I've got from uh, Amazon for about $58 Canadian. Usually they retail from, you know, $60 to $150. So I just waited for a sale and here it is. Uh, these little things don't come with a battery, by the way. So you, the batteries are L44 and you can get a huge package for seven bucks. So that's what I did. Now, um, what does this thing do? Well, quite frankly, all it does, you can set it on top of your piece of material on your mill and bring your face mill or end mill uh, down to this surface and see here if I've got it, okay, I'll turn it on. As you press down, it shows you how much you've pressed. Now you can do it in millimeters and in inches. I have currently have it in inches and it shows right here at the top right. Let's see if I can get this in for you. Top right, right? So, I'll, uh, Take this to the mill and we'll show you a little better. But essentially you've got a millimeter to inch uh, button here that you can change the value. Here's the on off and a zero. Uh, now to turn it on, pretty easy, just press once. Uh, say you're, it's pressed down to zero, just press once, done. Okay, we'll re-zero it again. But to turn it off, you have to press and hold for three seconds. And one of the disadvantages perhaps is that the LCD stays on. So you may go through batteries over time because of that reason, but it's not a huge uh, voltage draw or amperage draw, pardon me. So uh, that aside, it comes in a really nice little case. It's well fitted and uh, the, the fit and finish is excellent. You can't go wrong with that. It's got four magnets at the bottom, so it'll hold on to your material. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is, but I'm not willing to mess with it so, because all of the instructions were in Chinese and I just don't yet read Chinese. So let's go to the mill and uh, show you a couple of the things that I've discovered while using this thing. Okay, so before I get really into this thing, uh, let me know that I have a digital readout, which allows me to, you know, mill rather precisely. But of course, the uh, weak point is, is knowing your touch point on your material. So unless you do that and, you know, if you have your mill turning, well, you're actually chewing into the piece and that's not giving you an accurate measurement. So that is why I got this thing. Because... So without further ado, let's get into this thing. All right, so one of the things to note here is that this device from when this is unloaded, spring is unloaded to the bottom is 52 millimeters. Anyway, um, so essentially what you could do here to really get your measurements correct onto your between your DRO and uh, this device. So I've got a piece of uh, coal roll steel and uh, the, all of the edges have been sharpened off so uh, or filed off, so it's nice and flat. So when you're gonna use this thing, uh, first of all, you want to bring it down. So I'll bring down the end mill and we'll just give it some, uh, say three thousandths of an inch. It's a five, five tenths of one thousandths of an inch dial. So, okay, so here we are at three thousandths of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is simply zero this out. And now I'm going to zero my Z axis on my DRO. Okay, so we're set at zero. The DRO is at zero and we knew we to we know that we took three thousandths of an inch down, right? 
So the equivalent of 52 millimeters is two inches and 47 thousandths. Subtract three thousandths of that and you're left with two inches and 44 thousandths. So quite simply at this point, just let me raise this slightly. All right, so we'll redraw this thing. Okay, we'll remove the device. All right, so that's our measurement there, all right? And we know that past zero, we need to go to two inches and 44 thousandths. So let down we go to, and we'll, we should be able to actually reach there and be on the money. Well, we are to it, and, we, and then there we are. Okay, so I just touched off, and I'm at two inches, forty-four thousandths, and six tenths. All right, but that's six tenths. You know, it's, we're talking tenths. It's pretty subjective. So I'm actually touching here, and I. I'm exactly at two inches, 44 thousandths of an inch. So that is gonna be really useful for me. That way, I'm a, you know, I can uh, reduce the amount of mistakes that I make. I can get mostly accurate cuts uh, in whatever I'm milling. So let's have another closer look at this thing and, uh, and uh, end this. And you see our three thousandths of an inch is stayed. We'll zero that and voila. So here's what it looks like underneath again. The magnets are really nice to have, but uh, just be cautious that since we're dealing with metal, you know, having a magnet can actually uh, cause you some issues uh, in your measurements unless things are very, very clean. So did I get my $58 worth for me? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's going to serve me well. And uh, it's not a huge investment. Now, if you don't have a DRO, uh, you could still use something like this, right? And it would be useful. So you'll just have to use your dials. Anyway, I'll put a link in uh, the description as to where it is on Amazon. Should you be interested? I don't make any money out of this and I'm not uh, sponsored. So I hope you like this video. Take care. Bye-bye.